Hello, wonderful, amazing video game type people, and welcome back to Massive Chalice. I'd like to start by saying Happy Canada Day! Alright. It's been a couple days. I think one or two days. Two days, I think. I had a lot of uh, work, bills. Oh, it was a busy day the other day, and today's Canada Day, but I've managed to get a little bit of a little bit of a break between the festivities and celebrations, so let's get back into it. Now, if I remember correctly, and I really don't, uh, we've got Chris with the Barbo, the Relic with Jesse, what's her face, Zhang, very good, very good. Voss, we're trying to level Voss up as much as possible because he's probably going to die soon and I want a Relic. Shavk, uh, Teresa, what's, what's, Shavk is a Shadow, oh, we have our first Shadow Jack. Okay, let's take, what is this, what is, what is Knockback? That's it. That was the damage. That's the original. Okay, and we have stealth move. So that's very interesting. I am going to go ahead and... I, you know, the Shadow Jack sounds like a fairly useful... Uh, it's a useful type for the melee guy, because this allows him to get up close without having to risk quite so much. Right, okay. So... quite proud of how fast I caught on to the fact that I cannot stand people who are slow. Alright, not bad. Oh, and we do have one boom striker. Seems like a limited number, but that's okay. So, in other news, it is ridiculously hot. You know, I don't mean to sound alarming, but two hobbits just walked by and threw a ring into my room. <laughs> I actually, I love that. That's a that's a meme I've been seeing on Facebook a lot lately. Honestly, it's whew, all the people that I know right now. We're just having a heat wave like no other. All right. Well, let's. Uh, well. Okay. Why don't we start by doing that? There we go. I thought we'd, uh, I thought for sure we'd unlock someone. Can we use you? I guess not. Okay, well. Alright, you can take a shot on that Twitcher. It would be nice to kill the Twitcher. I wonder if Jesse can do that. No. I suppose one shot from that, and then a second shot from Jesse would actually be the killing shot. Do we want Jesse to... Let's find out. Anvil. Well, Anvil's getting pretty jacked. If Jesse takes the first shot, that might even be better. Now, of course, we want Voss to get those kills somehow. I don't know how that's going to happen, but potentially if we move Voss up to the front... Oh, though I really don't want to get shot by the laps, so let's go ahead and take that laps out first. I'm going to risk the Twitcher. Is the Twitcher stunned? No, the Twitcher is not stunned. That's a... Oh, bummer. But it did move the Twitcher over. Come on now, what is this? Oh. Let's move Shavk up to see what that will do. And you, friend. Woo! Terrifying. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Just uh move up. Uh nothing special over here. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh! Enemy spotted. But that means that he won't shoot this round, I think. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's a good one for the trick shot. Twitcher is going to twitch. Oh! That's not so bad. In fact, that might have been perfect. 
Very good. Glancing blow. Fury plus... Oh, this is working out amazingly. Okay. Voss is absolutely going to get this kill. So that means we have to hit you first with uh, Teresa, probably. Teresa, follow up with Voss. I am A-OK -okay with that. Right. The Perilous Core. That is incredible. Uh, no. Throwing the Perilous Core. Ah! Insane amounts of damage. That, we're going to save that Perilous Core for when... Uh, what are those big ones called? The, uh, the cradles. I think for cradles it would be ideal. Absolutely ideal. If we can hit that right there, oh, that is what I want. Yeah, Chris. Get jacked, son. Get jacked. <laughs> Glorious. Thank you. Alright. Jesse, what's her face saying? I think we can do that. Hit the F button a couple times. Go for it. Bam! Not bad, not bad. Alright, and you've got your fury on you, okay. Very nice. Alright. I wonder, how long does fury last? Does it say on here? Status. Stat, status, old age. Huh. Nonetheless, I really want Voss to level up. Oh, I wonder if we can do it. Or just get a bunch more kills somehow. Alright, well. The Shadow Jack may be the way of the future. Alright, nobody's gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Get you moving. Uh, we'll use you to scout. How about right there? Whoa! What did we see? We saw two lapses up in there, which means we're not going this way. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing that way. That away. So let's go for it. Our trick shots are. Well, our. That's great. I imagine an army of these guys would be really cool. You could just stealth your way through an entire mission. Ta-da! Move, 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 soldier. Yeah, maybe something like that. Whoa! Oh! That is pretty dirty. I guess, I guess that can happen. So we have just learned the not-so-great elements of it. Let's see if I can get a charge attack. I don't know if it'll do any good. Oh, don't tell me I can't do... Oh, you're a jerk, aren't you? Oh. That was bloody unfortunate. Okay, well... Who do we want to get that hit? Honestly, maybe you. Yeah. Just to get your experience points back a little bit. Alright, alright. Let's move there. There we go. Ooh, ruptures. I remember those fellas. Guess I should try to be a little bit more careful here. I don't want Voss getting hit by that fella, but charging into the rupture might work. Actually, charging into a rupture would probably work very well. As for Teresa, I think we can get away with hiding behind those rocks. Oh, mama. Didn't move, didn't move, didn't shoot. I don't think that labs can see us. Does Christopher Brockner... What is... Let's, let's take a look at this. Your... Sight is 10. What is Christopher's sight? 11. It's that one. Even then, I guess it wouldn't matter. That's interesting. Certainly very, very interesting. Okay. So. Damn it. Hypothetically, if I was to. to go for. 
with boss go for a charge or some such. Um, yeah, I don't know how, how effective that's going to be. Move there and then charge in. Oof, this might not end well. Still, I don't think it's that much damage. We'll be fine. Is there a better way of doing this? You know what? That might be a better way. Okay. Okay. We're going to move uh, just a little bit back. Might not have been the best, but now we're going to use Voss to do a proper charge that should send that guy flying. Hopefully. Something like that. Let's let's try that. Ready. Line it up. Seven to eight. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Acid. Oh, interesting. Didn't get the kill, so that was really kind of disappointing. Um, I was hoping that he would actually hit into that and the, that would kill him. I wonder... Taking damage each turn from corrosive acid. Very interesting. Okay. No stealth move for you. Well... Not much option about it. 56 damage. Whew, talk about overkill. Aha! I see my advice is paying off. Your advice? Okay. This means we can move a little bit closer. Why don't we try that? Okay, nobody else there. That's great. That is good to know. I'm going to actually go ahead and do that. Alright. And he's running. No, he's coming back. He, she, I don't know. It looks to me like we're not going to be getting that kill just yet. But, you know, going there might uh, give us that opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and just stick with that. Let's see what happens. Oh! Don't shoot! Oh! That's a bummer. Well, go get the kill. I guess he gets a little bit of experience. That's just a bummer. Yeah, it's it's really it's not easy getting uh fishing kills for Oh, but he got a name! Voss the Raven Cavorus. That might be what we needed. That might be what we needed. But anyways, I was just gonna say it's really not uh it's not easy fishing experience points for a melee fella. That's fine. I don't expect there are that many enemies left. I'm gonna take it nice and easy. I, I seriously, I, I think after this, I will Google after this episode what the benefit of finishing levels sooner rather than later is, because there must be some benefit. All right, Shafk. Very nice. Very very nice. Okay. I think we'd be safe there. I want boss to get that twitcher. Lone Wolf, nice. It's always very interesting. Lone Wolf adds to strength, intelligence, gives everything a plus one, even the armor. Very interesting. We're gonna ease up on this, you know? We're not gonna just rush in. Slowly get into the good position with the scouts. I haven't even used that one yet. Oh, oh. Okay, they're going to start running towards us. I think I'd like to leave the barb bow back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh 
my. Alright, let's get that kill. Let's get that kill for Voss. Best way to go about this. Possibly lining up a Barbo shot to get both of them. Oh, a little bit intimidating there, bud. Alright, we're going to do that. Move you there. Are you going to get it? Yeah, that looks like you're going to get it. That's what that, that really looks like to me. So I will make you target the rupture. Boom! Nice lineup. Very nice. Oh, and really decent damage on the uh, Twitcher as well. And now, of course, Kavoris come out of hiding. Boom! Nice. 400 experience points. That is lovely. Excuse me. I quite, I quite enjoy the Twitchers. Now, as for Shovk... You know, nope. There's there's no way. That's not something we want Shovk to do. Let's get that kill for Jesse. Or really, Teresa, if she can manage it. Let's give Teresa that Teresa that chance. And, uh, well, we'll do the free throw. Can't hurt. Yeah, missed, but still did it. Very nice. End of end of battle. No, not end of battle. Okay. Where else could they be? They might potentially be there, but there's no way for us to get across. Ergo, I'm really hoping that there's no one there. Um, but seriously, I don't think there is a way to get there. Uh, maybe? Oh gosh, I don't know. We're going to move you here. Oh, there we go. That's probably the last one. Can you keep going? Yeah, you bet you can. Do so. There we go. Ooh. That's the big question. Can you get that kill? You bet. Oh, beautiful. Level 7. I did not expect that. That was really poor planning on my part. We've got two stunned folks, a rupture, and a lapse. Okay, well, hopefully we can manage a, uh, a flask shot. I'm a little bit worried about the barb bow element to this, but we have no choice. All right. I think that's going to do it. Oh, thank goodness. That was very fortunate. End of battle. That's it. I very nice. I we'll be hearing about this for a while. Just don't get caught. There's nothing an enemy loves more than some idiot charging into battle thinking they're invincible. So says the neo-suicidal Kaberjack. I'm not cocky. I'm confident. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, mission XP was really good for this one. You know, we managed to get a lot of experience for Voss. Those two, the two Twitchers were very useful. Uh, not a lot of experience for the weapons, I'm afraid, for the relics. Because I think only kill XP counts towards relics. Uh, Christopher is doing quite well. And Shov, you know what, that's a great start. Level 5 at age 16. Non-damaging direct shot that severely reduces the sight and accuracy of all targets in a small area for one turn, or shoot items. Yeah, I'd love to be. Yeah, I think I might try that. Christopher shooting one of those nukes. Holy cow! Yeah, we're gonna go with shooting the nukes. What? Even an infertile hero can start a bloodline. Just retire them and start adopting a few babies. Madness. Okay, now we know where we're going next time. Holy mama. Caberjack strength. Probably should build something there. 59 days. Ah, oh, experience scarves. The knitting may be a little messy, but a full set of experience scarves are finished. Your heroes can increase their experience gains with this smart accessory and make up for time on the bench. 
Alright, I like that. I don't think we'll be building another keep. Or crucible or sage right skilled. I think we're probably fine. Uh, what would be most useful? The Wunder Pants sound very pleasant. The Ultra Elixir. Improve our own health vials. Yeah, you know, improving the health vials at this point sounds like a very useful thing to do. It would take five years. I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah. Heroes, discover new heroes, nation. I'd like the hero discovery boost quite a bit, actually. Uh, bone shell armor. Let's take a look at some of the veil armor. The skin of lapses exhibits some extraordinary illusionary properties. With enough residue collected from their bodies, we can fashion a suit of armor that will improve the stealth abilities of our hunters. I have no idea what that means, so I'm quite excited. I wonder what improved stealth abilities would look like. Bone shell armor. Bulwarks sprout a tough tempered shell of petrified bones every time they take damage. If we understood how their bodies achieve this, we could repurpose a suit of caber jack armor to do the same thing. That sounds interesting. One hit, and then the caber jack could potentially withstand an insane amount of damage. So both the armors sound to me very useful, and I think I would like that. I'd like to start with the veil armor. In terms of weapons, I'm not particularly interested in these. Eh. Time fist. Could literally punch them back in time, forward in time. Ha. Huh. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's do armor. Lapses and bulwarks. Veil armor. I'm quite interested. Done. Comfort around you. I could never be a regent. I doubt anything can make death <laughs> comfortable. Dying with all that comfort around you. Teresa Academia. It might be time to retire her. Nimble Hawkeye, quick study, young at heart, lone wolf. I don't know. It might be time. Then again, if we could put in someone who. Brainy, strong-willed, nimble, stalwart, and nervous. Nervous is not good. Anyone else? Dim-witted, rebel, lone wolf. No. Brainy and nimble. Oh, you're too young. No, no, no. Um, nimble, quick. Oh, patriotic. He'll be good on the battlefield. Frederick Academia. Clovis. Brainy, puny, stalwart, tranquil. That's not awful. See, Brainy is good. Carol. Fertile, Asthmatic, no. Lillian. Hawkeye, oh, you're also in Fertile. Right, these are the only choices we have. Okay, well, Joanne looks good. Brainy, strong-willed, nimble, stalwart, and nervous. Now, those are personalities, so those can be... Those aren't going to necessarily pass on, I think. Uh, personality is not a Brainy. Increased intelligence is a great thing to have in the family. So, Joanne it is. Yeah. Okay. Who will you make people with? I, I enjoy the, the Boom Strikers, I really do. Maxwell Zhang. Bountiful, slow. Nope. Nope. Quick. Tranquil Stone. Ah, quick. You'll say. Shovk. No, I don't want to get rid of Shovk. Chris. Oh. Impressionable and nimble. You know, that's not an awful. Not an awful way to do it. I quite like Shovk. I'd like him to stay out in the field, but we could take Chris and. Help Chris make some nimble, impressionable. Oh, we don't really like impressionable, though. Let's keep going. Asthmatic, quick, and dim witted. Nope. Nearsighted, nimble. Nope. Oh my. Yikes. This is turning into a bit of a nightmare. We're really. Maybe I should have done the hero upgrading so that we could just keep recruiting new heroes. Um. It's gonna have to be either Shovk or Chris. That's insane. Ay, ay, ay. 
Alright. I shall make it Chris. For some reason. I don't know. I just... I like Shock. I like what we've got going. Go ahead. Boom Strikers are better anyways. They've got that real nice long range, and I think that's really helpful for the Alchemist branch of heroes. I don't know if we did the right thing. We're running out of heroes. Or at least good ones, anyway. Our power is half what it needs to be to cleanse this world of the Cadence. This huh. calls for the Horns of Halves. <laughs> the Horns Don't let of Halves. Your head. We still have a long way to go. And it's not going to get easier. Too many battles have been lost because victory was assumed and not assured. Okay. Well, I get that. I get that. But it was a fun ride while oh. it lasted. A grand adventure, studying the very foundations of our okay. understanding, whilst having the wherewithal to make any ideas into reality. Vos yes. the I Raven. So. No. No Vos the Raven. Izana? Uh. Hmm. Nearsighted. Dim-witted, bare strength, insightful, and clear-headed. It's an awful lot of... Wow, that's an awful lot of intuition. Look at the amount of days that cuts. Honestly, with uh, that clear-headed, you know, that's... This is... I think Izana was the one we sent out to stare at the... Uh, at the Cadence for a long time? Let's, let's make use of that. Let's make use of that. She won't be reproducing anyways, so... And she's getting kind of old. Yep. Izana. Use your cadence gifts. What's this? What? The red horse returns, this time with a new rider. Daniel Brockner. Barely recognizable now with all the muscles and scars. Daniel's cheerfulness about the experience surprises you. It wasn't that bad, actually, after the first six months. Once you get used to the pain, I don't even remember the last four years. <laughs> That's amazing. The Lash. He gained to... Daniel Brockdorf's return gained the Lash Lord status, is now level 8, has white hair, and will now be known as the Lash Lord at 832. That is so cool. Optimistic. Prime Age Lash Lord. Oh my goodness. What is... What? What? I guess it ages you, hey? Lash Lord. Increased speed, armor, dexterity, strength, and intelligence from surviving the Lash. That's incredible. Oh my goodness. True hit chance is probably lower than predicted. Okay, I see. Let's let's take a look at what what is that even Wow. Shoot items. Yeah, you know what? I want you to be able to shoot bombs, so you get your shoot items ability. Oh, look at that. Increase sight and attack range. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Did his crossbow just change? To suit the fact that he's super, super epic? I feel like it might have. What is his bone? What, what does it look like if I give him a bone barb bow? Still kind of bone barby. Let's go back to crossbow. Maybe it didn't change. I'm just crazy. I guess I haven't seen a crossbow in a long time. Still, something about it looks beautiful. The Lash Lord. What does that even mean? His speed is six. His... Oh my goodness. What? Insane evasion. Insane accuracy. Oh my goodness. His sight is 14. That's something. Wow. Yeah, we're not going to give him a steady hander. We're giving him a perilous core or a scarf. No, perilous core. I want him to be able to shoot. <laughs> yeah, we've got shoot items, so this guy is shooting nukes now. Daniel Lashlord Brockner. That is awesome. I didn't think 12 years went by that quickly. The entire nation is your hiding spot now that the Hunter Veil armor is ready to be equipped. That was really fast. But I guess we did chop off a bunch of time or something. By providing a really awesome dude. Um, no, I, I really think that the hero discovery boost is something that I want to get. 
It increases the level of discovered heroes, and I will probably try to discover heroes uh, next time. So hero discovery boost. I'm getting a little concerned about the uh, about the availability of good traits. I think we're gonna get attacked. Oh, fair play. Hero's work is never done. We wouldn't bring it up if it wasn't important. What? There has been an incident. Earlier today, Voska Force was keeping watch at a refugee camp outside the capital. There was some disorder and your hero had to step in, but unfortunately a bystander was killed as a result. The citizens demand justice. What will you do? You want me to imprison Voss for the last ten years of his life? But I want him to spawn a relic. And there's going to be a battle coming up really soon. Any second now. This is kind of a tough decision. Morale must be kept up. Yeah, morale must be kept up. I'm sorry, boss. You announced that Voss's sentence and your citizens clapped politely. It seems that they expected something harsher, but at least they didn't light anything on fire. I'm sorry, boss. That was wrong. That was really wrong. What? Voskavors has passed away in prison by natural causes, or so you're told. However, the legend will survive in the bloodline relics baptized in our champion's act of heroism. The royal court is prepared to execute the will of our fallen hero. That was really rough of us, but we now have a relic for the, uh... Oh, that's perfect. A Kavoris relic. Just like I wanted. Chosen. The will of Voss the Raven Kavoris. I am sorry that had to happen. I think I'm giving it to Shovk. Yep. Yep, Shovk gets it. They fought together, after all. Teresa Academia. The Royal Court is prepared to execute the will of our fallen hero. Ay ay ay. People are dying left, right, and center. Okay. Persistence goes to... Hawkeye, Infertile, Hardy. Well, you know what? Infertile, yes, and that sucks. But, Hawkeye. So... Pretty high intelligence. Is there a younger one that we could perhaps? Glovis? No. Frederick. Frederick's patriotic. You know, that's a fair point. Even though... Let's see what this means. Increased evasion against melee attacks. Slow learner. So, well, okay, so that sucks. The decreased XP gain absolutely sucks. But, let's not forget patriotic. Oh, and he's also 50, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Carol, Glovis... Brainy Nimble. You know, Jessica will get it in time. For now, I'm going to give it to Lillian because we're probably going to use Lillian in the next fight. Why not? Oh, I don't know, but then it won't... Uh, if we give it to Jessica... Oh, but we don't know. We can't risk that. Okay. Okay, and you're definitely not getting it. I don't think Glovis is getting it. Frederick's too old. Oh. Well, you're not awful. Brainy, strong-willed, and nimble. But you're a regent. Oh, right, okay. Ugh, Lillian it is. Lillian it is. Alright. Let's get attacked here. I gotta get going. All right, let's yeah, get you. This over with. The cadence is invading the nation. Attempting to drastically increase corruption in our lands, pick a region to defend. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. We're doing Seeds Labs, so we're doing that one. A 26-year-old female alchemist. Yeah. Yeah, no, that sounds nice, but, uh, you know, there was never any question about it. We're doing this one. Seeds, Lapses, and Wranglers. Yeah, Wranglers suck, but I think we can handle it. Let's see here. Do I not have sh Oh. Okay, so Daniel's in. That's basically confirmed. I'm not going to waste Lash Lord. Daniel is coming. Jesse's in. Shovk is in. Oh, I need the... Uh, I need Lillian. Lillian is in. 
Now, who actually can shoot nukes? I think Daniel can shoot nukes. I think Jesse can shoot nukes. I'm, I'm quite convinced that Jesse has the skill to shoot nukes, yeah. So, we're gonna just... Then again, the steady hander might actually be more useful. Still, nonetheless, I want to test it out. We're gonna shoot a perilous core with Jesse, see what that does. So, perilous core shooters. <laughs> we need one more hero. Uh, somebody preferably young. And someone... Oh, Jessica! Low fertility. Oh, I don't like that you have low fertility. Jessica... An Enforcer! Done! A Patriotic Enforcer! I don't even know what that means. That's a, This is our first Enforcer. Knockback Arrow. A special blunt crossbow bolt that knocks the target backwards. Point blank shot. Fire a close range shot for extra damage. Okay. Honed Hearing. Also, less, Yeah, I don't care about that. Stand ground. Blinding shot. Fortify. Nearby heroes with an armor bonus. Gain a free short move after successfully did. Very interesting. Alright, point blank shot it is. Let's see what that does. Rebecca Zhang. Do I want a bone bar bow? I would say yes. We'll take it, and we will give you the steady hander because you're quite young, quite fresh. You need that, probably. Uh, do I want to give Lash Lord a bone bar bow? Probably not. He's pretty long range. I think we'll stick with the crossbow. I think it's slightly longer range than the barb bow. I'm not sure, but it feels like it. Okay, we've got two flasks. I think that's good. I don't think Lillian needs a steady hander, but we could. I suppose we could. You know what? We'll give Lillian a steady hander. Someone should have it. And that gives us one potion, which we will keep. So steady hander for these two. Oh, I'm very excited to see Lash Lord in action. Alright, let's deploy this troop. One of your heroes looks a little queasy. Maybe tell them it'd be best not to eat right before a jump. And now there's a turkey leg floating in our bowl. Wait. Oh! Something has happened. Look at this, folks. Oh my goodness. Advanced seeds. I wonder if everything else is going to be advanced. I guess the cadence is leveling up along with us. Well, okay, folks. So, the usual. I'm going to cut it here. Thanks for watching. Uh, wow, that's actually really cool. I'm kind of excited. So, as the game goes, it's going to get a lot tougher here. And I am kind of stoked for this battle. So, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching massive chalice. Bye!